Well, today we want to welcome a few guests from a well-known show called Antiques Roadshow. Marsha Bemko, Kathleen Bailey, thank you so much for joining us today. Very excited to have you here. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the show's going to be here this weekend. We have a few items here for you to look at, uh, provided by uh, our special projects producer, Tasha. And uh, the first one is, uh, I do believe, some uh, Indonesian artifact here. Is that correct? Or would you explain uh, what we're looking at there? Kathy knows what that Kathy is. Kathy does. Yes, okay. you are correct. Yeah. It's Balinese, okay. and it's a bust of a warrior. And um, it would have a value of a couple hundred dollars. However, if you could find a full figure, they run around $2,000. Oh so this is a nice medium size. Hey, very good. And then uh, we also have a tight shot of the uh, thermos there. Can you talk about that? Yes, that's uh, Gigi the Dancing Dogs. <laughs> and that came out in 1950. And it's a thermos from a lunchbox. It would have had a lunchbox to match. And uh, in the 50s, everybody had a tin <laughs> lunchbox, and maybe not a Gigi, right. but they had a, a, a thermos, and about $50. $50, and with the lunchbox, probably the whole set would be a, uh, a little bit Probably 125 oh, Very good. Now, I'm told we've got some plates here. I'm going to move these in front of the, uh, the pieces here uh, to get another look at those. And uh, we'll, t we'll twirl, twirl them around a little bit. There we go. So uh, can we talk a little bit about these, uh, these dishes? Yes, those could technically be called antiques, mm -hmm. where these are collectibles. Uh, Hand-painted pansies on a Limoges blank, mm -hmm. and the gilding and the gold around is a painted on um, gold. You can't melt it and run yeah. to the melter. Uh, these are the small uh, bread and butter size, mm -hmm. and they came in a huge set. Ah. The only thing I would warn on those is if those um, hangers snap, they yes. can make big chunks and ruin the, ruin the value. Uh, the the uh, roses, about 25 each, and pansies, 35. The difference is the coloring in the in the artwork. Very good. Uh, Marsha, I mean, really, Antiques Roadshow is just a runaway hit. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about the pleasure that you get from, uh, you know, being a part of that? I'm a lucky girl because I, and in some ways a little bit unlucky, because I now covet to own things that I can't possibly afford. But here we are shooting season 17. We still have 9, 10 million viewers a week. Wow. We're in a good place. We're smart reality television. And I just have to share with everybody that we found out this morning we were nominated for our 10th Emmy. So somebody else Congratulations. likes us too. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I became a fan uh, 15 years ago, saw this Civil War sword out there and was astounded when, you know, the big jackpot figure arises, you know, and I thought, oh my God, that's fantastic. And as a kid, just hated going antiquing with my parents. So uh, it cer certainly turned around a little bit as an adult. But uh, well, most, of our, most of our dealers, most of the people you yeah. see on Roadshow, a good portion of them are the children of dealers, collectors, and auctioneers who probably started like you, but then got turned on it by the by the material yeah. as well, yeah. So we have about a minute left. Uh, for those who are like, oh, you know, that'd be fun to get into that or, or maybe, uh, you know, explore finding an item and maybe turning it around for a, a better price. Uh, what, what advice do you have for someone who maybe wants to get in, into antiquing? I would say, first of all, do it because you love it. You're not going to go, there are a lot of people out there searching and it's not, it's a hard game to really know what you're doing, which yeah. is why a knowledgeable dealer will sometimes sell you something for too little money. It's too big a field to know it all. If you love it, buy what you love, collect what you love. The better you get at it, your eye gets better. There are no shortcuts to this. Yeah. I've wrote show 17 years um, uh, that we've been producing it. I've been there for 14 of them. I still couldn't buy and sell without getting hurt because I don't touch enough. Right. And so it's tricky. And yeah. so if you're into it, follow your passions because your yeah. passions and you'll learn. It's, it's just like you do on Roadshow. Yeah. Objects teach you one at a time. Yeah. Thank you both very much for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank I appreciate you. it. All Thank right. You. Well, we've got a few hot